beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to that. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Second Chronicles 7 verse 14 if my people the first three words they are my people so we are not talking of those who are not my people but if my people more so they are called by my name he said they shall humble themselves he didn't say they shall say I am sorry repentance is not brokenness brokenness is deeper than repentance he says and shall seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven i will forgive their sins and i will not heal them i will heal their land their territory not just heal them but their territory the absence of a broken and contrite spirit is for many of us the mystery behind not only the tragedies of our lives the continued patterns and the reign of darkness over families over territories over individuals that you are a christian is not enough brokenness is a state that god cannot deny what is brokenness brokenness is a state of complete surrender number one number two brokenness is a recognition of your imperfections and your inadequacies outside of the mercy and the help of god this is called brokenness a recognition of your inadequacies and your imperfections outside of the mercy and the help of god brokenness is a spiritual strategy that God designed to kill pride in the life of men. Brokenness is a system in the kingdom. It's a strategy invented by the wisdom of God to kill pride in men. Let me tell you this. Pride is behind the many sufferings of people. Not sin. Pride. Pride. Nobody really suffers for being a sinner. We suffer because of our pride our parents suffer because of pride it's not their shortcomings it is the refusal to acknowledge that every man is inadequate without god are we together is god speaking to us the power of genuine brokenness it's a strategy that kills pride is a strategy that kills a sense of self-sufficiency one of the greatest unbecoming of believers that sense of self-sufficiency i can do without god i can do without him 
I can live without him. Lord, when I have a challenge in my life, I will call your attention to help me. Are we together now? Yes. It doesn't mean that God is not involved, but you keep him until you feel it is, with, it is beyond your power. Then you say, Lord, can you quickly come and just help me and then go back? A broken and a contrite heart is a heart that is perpetually living in the revelation that outside of God, I am inadequate. Are we together? Psalm 34 verse 18. Please give it to us. Psalm 34 verse 18. Psalm 34 and verse 18. Please read it. It's projected. One to read. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart. He said, and save it such. There are certain people that qualify for his salvation. The Bible says people who are of a contrite heart. That's the reason why you can see some persons will come to church. Are we together? They, come, they don't have faith. Are we together? They are not even walking in holiness and righteousness as we know. But they come with a genuine sense of brokenness. And the whole service becomes about them. Something about the sincerity of their heart attracted God. Are we together? Notice the kinds of people that attracted Jesus in his ministry. He, he was hardly attracted by the scribes and the Pharisees. He would see the sinners and go to them. They caught the woman with the issue uh, with, with, with adultery. She didn't argue and said, no, 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 no. And Jesus came and helped her. Remember when he met the woman who had six husbands. Five and the sixth one was not her husband. Look at how Jesus took time to reach out to these people. Let me tell you, there is one attribute I know a man can possess that will attract God in a helpless way. It's a broken and a contrite heart. Are we together? Yes. That a man can cry unto God from a state of brokenness and say, Lord, if you do not help me, my family will not rise. We have broken all the laws of financial prosperity. We have broken, I'm not a tighter. We are not tighters. We are not givers. Lord, if you don't help us, we are finished. And you will watch the Lord treat them like he treats the lilies of the valley that do not sow, neither do they reap. Yet, because they are his creation, he will get up and reach out to them in mercy. Every time people were broken and contrite, God responded to them. In the book of Jonah, there was a strange prophet that God gave an instruction to go to Nineveh and warn them. You know why Jonah refused? He knew God. He knew they would repent. He was praying that their, their hardened heartedness would remain so God would punish them for him. And he ran away and God drew him back. He said, go back. And the Bible says when Jonah announced that the people broke themselves in fasting and ashes, even their animals fasted. These were not people who were believers. They were not even of the covenant. But they became broken. Every time people were broken, God no longer asked them where they came from. A broken and a contrite heart. The opposite of pride. He said a broken and a contrite heart he will not despise. Let me tell you this. When you walk with God, we teach these principles. Your results at a level in the spirit will no longer be based on the accuracy of your applying this principle but that you have come to a place where you have become the friend of god it is important to teach these principles but i submit to you a time will come in your work with god it's no longer about what you are doing you have won his heart in a way and manner that he has become vulnerable to you you will see things you did not pray for. You will enter dimensions you did not fast for because you have maintained a state of genuine brokenness. The prodigal son left, packed his wealth and went to live a riotous life. Is that true? The Bible says one day he came to himself. That's what must happen to many people 
in this day one of this fast he came to himself and said come how many hired servants does my father have while i sit down here and die with the pigs what is there to be ashamed of i will arise and i will go to my father and i will say father i have sinned against heaven and against you and i am not worthy you gave me resources i squandered it in a riotous way the bible says while he was afar off as soon as the father saw him he ran to him notice the father never asked him so where were you all the while a broken and a contrite heart is a magnet for the help and the mercy of god a broken and a contrite heart this is a principle that not only works for god it works for men are we together as wicked as we are as men when you find a man that is broken towards you no matter how hard you are you become as soft as a tissue paper the reason why many of us have lost favor we have lost opportunities we are humans and it is true that at some point you made decisions that was not wise or whatever it is our parents you fought with your boss they fired you something happened but we we thought we were repentant but we were not broken you see brokenness has a spirit you can know a man can come and say sorry hey, jimmy please i want to work for you again sorry and you know that this is just this is just apology this is pride on rampage brokenness has a character it's an unashamed acknowledgement of your humanity and how much it can shred you into pieces except God helps you there are people who have gotten their jobs back not because they qualified they came with brokenness there are relationships that have been restored because the individuals could be broken enough are we together there are business connections that have come back because of brokenness listen to what i'm teaching you tonight it's a very deep mystery david was a man who understood brokenness thoroughly 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 isaiah 57 verse 15 quickly let's look at it isaiah 57 verse 15 for thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabited eternity listen whose name is holy he says i dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to do what to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones there are people who are qualified for revival like a dry and thirsty land as a man of god you have come to your wit's end as a businessman you have come to your wit's end and you come to the lord and say lord i am broken i acknowledge that if you do not help me i cannot do anything and god shows up for you someone can be holding his stick of cigarette under a bridge and just sit down and say god i don't know if you are there but you need to help me it's not like i like my life i'm sitting this way please arise for me brothers and sisters no prayer and fasting no fill with the holy ghost for his spiritual eyes to be open there an angel is sent from heaven and it comes to that person there his brokenness is a magnet it drew the hand of god i have seen god visit families that broke every spiritual law i know learn the laws of the spirit your humanity will necessitate them learn them one of it is brokenness are we together yes david was a man who understood god god don't give me to my enemies punish me by yourself i choose your own way and god said this man this man how many young people have lost the favor of their loved ones because they do not have a heart of brokenness you used to live a wayward life i said now am i not get am i not getting well behaved it's my father not seeing there's no brokenness genuine brokenness 
I have seen people who are genuinely broken. I have seen, I have advocated for people who have offended their destiny helpers. And I saw the level and the extent of their brokenness. I felt guilty leaving them that way. I went out of my way to broker reconciliation. This is me, a man. Take over, Jehovah. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, Jehovah. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. So take over, Jehovah, I have come to the end of myself, Jehovah, Jehovah, I have touched the end of myself, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm sharing with you this is a very powerful revelation these are the kinds of people that all things work for their good they know what to do to God to change equations you will look at them it is true their family should be caused their father was a herbalist it's true he slew one of the sons it is true that an ordinance is speaking against them and he goes before God he says Lord I, I don't come in my own righteousness. I come before you. Oh God, I never lied that I was a herbalist. I never lied that I collect the charm. It was out of pressure I came before you. Who else will I run to? And God says, who is calling me? Who is call which family is calling me? And while repentance is going on, one devil is there concocting a charm. That man cannot pray in tongues. That man does not even know which scripture should be. He cried and God showed up and said because of what you have done I enter a covenant with your children's children that all of them will be the head and you find out that three generations afterwards all leaders not because they fasted their brokenness was a covenant are we together show me a man that understands brokenness and I show you a man whose end you will never see you will never see i am convinced now and and I, I don't say this in a state of sarcasm i say this sincerely i am convinced that when people fall to a point that their chapter closes the a level of pride was responsible for that are we together hmm. peter saw jesus christ and because of the pressure he ran away and betrayed him. It was not a lie. When Jesus came to him in John 21, he said, little children, have you any catch? He said, cast your net to the right side. When they caught fish, Peter realized it was Jesus. The same Jesus he had betrayed three days ago. The Bible says he ran away. He said, go away from me. I am a sinner. This is not the issue of condemnation. It's a recognition. Jesus, I did this to you. And you still come to me I disappointed you I told everyone I did not know you I took advantage of your benevolence but I come to you and Jesus said Simon this attitude has earned you something feed my sheep feed my lamb you qualify to be the leader this is the kind of attitude that is leader worthy an attitude that is unashamed before me 
there are many proud people moving up and down i don't drink i don't smoke i don't look for women i don't look for men and our pride keeps us there every time we see people rolling before god and crying their hearts we sit down there with a sense of self-perfection full of our pride full of our jealousy full of our lust just because it has not yet manifested does not mean it's not there and when there is an opportunity to cry before god we sit down saying ah, uh -uh you mean that lady is also praying wow thank god oh koinonia is helping some people a broken and a contrite heart a heart that is unashamed before god a heart that can roll from end to end and say lord you are the helper you are the coverer you are the defender of my life the psalmist knew this he said i'm aware that many are they that trouble me many are they that look they pray for my downfall if you do not understand brokenness you will fall like a chicken it will surprise you your rising has a side effect to many people and they hope and pray daily that something happens in your life and if you understand brokenness you have held god in a way and manner that he will never leave you this i know about god a broken and a contrite believers are very proud people we exaggerate the teachings of faith we exaggerate the teachings of righteousness and it makes us proud people and we cannot tremble at his word and allow his spirit to walk on us that's why there is no power that's why there is no grace that's why there is no favor that's why there are no results a sense of self-sufficiency take over take over I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. 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 I have come to the end of myself. Brokenness is a mystery that attracts the mercy and the help of God to a man's life. A mystery that attracts the help and the mercy of God. When God is ready to show you mercy, do you know God can help men? How many of you believe that? Do you know God can help men? Ha! There are very few people that have seen the help of God. This is not men favoring you. This is God deciding that I want to help you. I have helped people in my life by the grace of God and I have seen how easy their lives became because I could reach out to them God can turn to a man and say me Alpha Omega I have decided to come to your family to help you it will surprise you what will happen most of us do not know what the help of God can do he said I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help not my neighbor's own i don't know how he gets his own but my help you see us like this the name of this ministry is ebenezer a ministry that has been helped by god helped spiritually helped with grace some of these mysteries are not just a product of personal research some of them are a sheer help of god that god comes to you by himself and says i want to help you God can help men. When God helps you, something will change about your life. There are many families that don't help, have the help of God because our loved ones are there in their pride and arrogance. I think we should go and see a man of God. I know God too. And God says, you see? You see it now? A broken and a contrite heart. Let's go and cry to God. Ah, didn't I tell my wife sorry? Didn't I tell my husband sorry? There's no brokenness. Genuineness. Some of us seated here, this is the one limitation that makes Satan to buffet our lives and yet God seems to stand helpless. Everybody say genuine brokenness. Genuine brokenness. That a man can come to a point where he goes to God. I remember a woman who shared her, her testimony, very touching testimony. 
she was staying in a house um, a, a, a rented apartment very wealthy man you know somewhere in abuja and true story she could not pay you know there was no way it's not the issue of give me time there's nowhere money is going to come from anywhere and the woman was broken because she still had the fees of her children this woman sent me a text by herself she said when she, it was very obvious that the boss was the the owner was going to drive her that the woman said she just knelt down before him and said you have children like this one and she was crying she said it's not my fault that my husband died i didn't kill him it's not my fault that I didn't have the opportunity to be educated. I'm not lazy. It's just condition that has kept me like this. If you drive me, where do I go to? This woman started crying and according to what she told me that the man just kept quiet and looked at her and was touched. He said, I have children and I have conscience. I will never do this. He said, continue to stay here. It's not your own, but just continue to say, forget about rent. Because of this thing you have done, I've given you this. The help you know many of us want to seek help at our own terms pride and help don't go together are you hearing what i'm saying please emeka i hear you're a doctor can you treat me you are the one who is sick oh god are you not seeing what is this family is doing we need five million to solve our problems i come by the blood of the lamb as, as if you, you you ask him to die and in the name of jesus christ pride that's what the bible calls it i watch people all around from pastors to leaders and in all honesty i see that price oozing out desperate for help but not broken enough to receive it there are people who are desperate for help but the brokenness that qualifies them to receive <clears throat> their knees will not go to the ground i don't mean physically their knees will not go to they want to be helped but they want to be helped at their own terms sorry do you have 100 naira? can you help me it's not by force if you don't have that's all right that's a proud man he's hungry he's in need and he's ashamed he's not my culture to beg i'm, I'm just it's, i just felt like and it's not usually what i do i just hope that you can help me pride those kinds of people never get the attention of god thou son of david thou son of david please thou you are the son of david others call you jesus but i i know what they've been saying about you have mercy i don't know what what it takes to stand up from here and i'm not sure i even have it look at the father of that guy that was convulsing he said help my own belief i don't understand this your faith thing i've done all i know to be faith please if i'm not getting it right if you leave me here to learn faith this child can die before i finish learning it help my own belief and god turned who is this notice how god was helplessly drawn to people who were broken is god speaking to us lord i need your grace and i need your anointing i'm not i'm not coming to act as if we are colleagues Lord, I'm standing. If you give me anointing, fine. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not ashamed. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Come bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee Come bless me now my Savior I come Listen When you truly need help Don't act like you can do without it Are you hearing what I'm saying? Brokenness is a force It can draw help to you there are many destiny helpers around us but our pride is what stops us from receiving help it doesn't take god anything to change a man's life overnight is this attitude of pride oh promise i hear that um you are an anointed man can you just agree with me i have issues in my life uh, but if you are not if you are free that's all right you expect that anointing to work 
I'm not talking of human worship. It's the same way we approach God. We approach God with our pride and our sense of being. This is not condemnation. This is a recognition. If you hear the way I pray for koinonia, it will scare you. You will think I killed a human being. Lord, it is by your mercy that you draw people. This afternoon, I just laid down on my bed flat and I said, Lord, it is by your mercy you change people. It is your voice that is able to change people. You are the only one who will draw people. I don't take for granted what you are doing. I will never act like I don't need you. And here he comes again, a broken and a contrite heart. What prophecy did you cancel through pride? What prophecy stopped working in your life? Because there was no genuine brokenness. This kingdom thrives on mysteries. I'm unveiling one of them for you. So that you will see. Ezekiel 36 verse 26. You want a new heart? You want to rise in the spirit? It takes brokenness. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 26. We are, we are going to pray shortly. Very quickly. It says, a new heart also I will give you. And a new spirit will I put within you. I will take away the stony heart. This is, this is the heart of many of us here. A stony and stubborn heart. He says, and I will give you a heart of flesh. That's the Bible. Let me show you one more scripture. Very powerful scripture I found. Jeremiah 24 verse 7. Jeremiah 24 verse 7. Very solid scripture. Listen. He says, and I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord. I will give you a heart that will make you know me. He says, and they shall be my people and I will be their God. Why? For they shall return to me with their whole heart. They shall return to me with their whole heart. A broken and a contrite heart towards God and towards men. There are nations that would never go for war if their leaders can just admit we were careless we compromised on the deal I'm sorry but millions go hungry and in war because of the pride of one person over my dead body you hear them say many of the yokes that are on our families came because of the pride of one person one person one person one arrogant person over my dead body and the Havali said to me say yes and we grew up in all kinds of yokes of darkness how many people offended a very old woman pushed her down and she said my daughter what did I do leave me alone is it that you don't have eyes to see and the woman looks you say you did this to me your children will do it to you and the foolish girl moves around thinking that it's all about catwalking and many years later her innocent daughters come beautiful wonderful people when a man comes as soon as he says I love you what will happen to him he will leave you by himself that's why God put this Gen if my people who are called by my name they are called by my name but the devil is still beating them left right and center he never said I don't have the power to save are we together he said but they shall humble themselves and then pray and then seek my face and turn from their wicked ways under that condition I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their lands go and watch the documentary about Fiji Island the revival in Fiji Island that's what happened many years ago missionaries came to Fiji Island and then the people slaughtered the missionaries and killed them and the missionaries when they slaughtered them everything died in that land the fishes disappeared mysteriously from the sea it's a documentary you can go and watch everything went down they will plant crops locusts will come from nowhere and devour it and then one time 
a group of Christians who had been exposed said look this thing is not just the issue of we are Christians there has to be a way of making peace are we together in the New Testament restitution is not necessarily just about going back to go and say oh I stole five naira when I was five years but restitution is a state in the heart a genuine state this our pride in the body of Christ is why we don't see the power of God we just jump at anything just because of a little theological study we did here and there and do you know the people in the land came together intercessors began to pray a few weeks turned to months and one time in the midst of that prayer the spirit of prophecy came and he said look you people have to pray this land has taken the blood of those who were bearers of good news and they sat down they prayed and they cried before God they said Lord you have to help us and fortunately for them they were able to get in touch with the grandchildren of the ministers they slaughtered and the Christian missionary said it's true we have repented but since these people are there can't we reach out to them and they wrote a letter to them and the young people say we are not coming you people slaughtered our grandparents we had the story you didn't even allow us to see their body they removed their head and danced around with them in shrines and eventually the Christian organizations called the people and they came and do you know they had it was like a ceremony they made peace they hugged them and the little children say no 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 our parents have died but their blood flows to us and you are repentant we bless you the people who did this thing have long died you shouldn't be the victims of this we bless you it was not up to one week they started seeing fishes mysteriously in the sea the water the vegetation go and read it fiji island the the like the president of fiji island officially dedicated the place to god mysteries that people do not know and we cheat ourselves here and there a broken heart show me somebody who has offended god to whatever and can run to god and say lord i come to you show me a man who has offended a human being and can run to the person genuinely remember jesus taught about this in the parable of the servants unjust servants one of them went and cried master forgive me and all of that and all of that and they forgave him and then he did not go to make peace with the other one and then they now dealt with him that story was a message that you can run to him and you can cry and he will hear you if my people if koinonia a ministry called by my name shall humble themselves most of us every time we hear this thing we just think it's just for sinners it's for bad people may god knows i've tried that thing is pride is pride when it's time to be broken before god you are broken genuinely lord it is by your mercy it is by your grace i need your help in my life men are getting more wicked i need your help i counseled a dear woman i'm sure she may be here and when i counseled her i saw the kind of trouble she you know as i counsel people my heart reaches to them i've been doing this for years there are cases when you hear you know that only god no matter how well meaning you are you can't help that situation the only and and the way they come to you man of god help me and you too you know that you can't help. it takes it takes only one who sits on god's throne to be able to help do you believe god can help you my life is a testimony of a man that god has helped god can help men it's a language we don't know most of our loved ones don't know it they believe men can help but they don't believe God can help the key is brokenness some of those who have received the mercy of God most are some of the most disobedient people that's what pains some of us because you are roommates with them 
and you see the way God keeps going out the moment they are broke oh Lord an alert comes and you are there you come back from three days dry say father I'm still here say you, you will continue being there and you watch you there's no brokenness in your heart somebody comes and says Lord help me you know my situation there are people who God changed their exam scores because of brokenness they went to God and said Lord please help me I take responsibility I didn't read it is obvious that if this result comes out I have two years and they rolled before God and cried I'm not talking of the mystery of a dance this is not dancing it's not every time you dance there are times you lie down and cry and God comes to them and all of a sudden the course comes out and you see a something they didn't finish answering question one out of five questions who taught us that God has stopped helping men he said Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped marvelously God can help a man of God and in one month your life and ministry will change God can help a family some of these things we are struggling with it takes God to help us you attract his help one of the things that I believe believers and I say this from the strength of counseling there are two spirits that believers must cry that God should help I know we are humans and I don't mean to condemn you masturbation and pornography two devils of darkness that the devil uses to tear people into pieces it starts from their dreams when something good is about to happen a breakthrough is about to happen there the spirit comes again and you find out that the favor goes then the urge leaves too I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours forever I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours Lord I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours forever I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours sing one more time There are women who the secret to the baby you are looking for is brokenness i've met every man of god they prayed for me I've, uh, uh, brokenness carry your medical report you have five brought here you have five brought here you put it on the ground and let your tears do the praying oh god will you not help me oh god my father served you till he died he died as a missionary for the sake of your mercy remember mercy and you are crying and you fall asleep and here comes an angel sent from heaven and he comes to you just touches your stomach and you get up and go to the hospital doctor check me again and they say it's a joke where did you go to the helper the helper showed up in your house koinonia our families need help if we don't humble ourselves recession will punish us to our knees we need help there are families that need to come together and just get down on their knees from the greatest to the least to say lord i am the priest in this home but i'm officially lifting this family we need your help we are broken we are broken see the bible says even a thief when he's caught if the thief tells you I only stole because I was hungry he says pity him Bible it, this is the Holy God speaking that's why God will look at a prostitute somewhere and we say God condemn her and God looks in the midst of her prostitution what he's seeing is Lord I need help I've been doing this thing for 10 years but I need help and God suddenly sends a very powerful man of God he said that's your wife and you are there saying God this is cheating I've been in church God said well 
I promote who I can promote and demote any proud person I can demote. This is the reason why we are angry at some people's results because it looks like it's not fair. God should not help them with the way their lives are. But God, when your heart is right before God, God will surprise you. I am a keeper of principles, but I can tell you this. I have been committed to stand up and help people no matter how stupid they are because of something about their brokenness. When you see me pray for koinonia and pray for my own life, it, it will irritate you if you are praying with me. I don't cry before men, but don't be deceived. I cry before God with my life. I lie down before him and I say, Lord, help me. Help me. Are you getting blessed? We are going to pray. This is what we must engage tonight. Many of us need to cry on behalf of our proud family members. Ten ladies, no marriage. Go to the house of God. God forbid all that place in that church that they gossip about people. God wants to. I won't come there. I'm, I'm too. No, no, no. I won't do that. You can stand on their behalf and say, Lord, if you depend on my family's faithfulness, you will never bless us. Lord, I'm advocating. Lord, my father is a proud man, but I cry for the sake of Jesus, for the sake of what the Lord has done on the cross. Please step in for my family. Sickness is eating everyone. Lord, we have broken every rule, every law. I now know it is true that my father has 10 girlfriends somewhere. But Lord, if you use him to punish us, Moses knew what to do for Israel. God was angry. He said, these guys are in idolatry. I will curse them. Moses said, God, calm down. Abba, are you not merciful and compassionate? Do you want them to say you brought these people out and could not take them to the promised land? And God repented. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. This is the condition to see the mercy and the grace of God. Whatever you ask me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I surrender. That's my commitment. That nothing becomes too much to release to you. prophesy it as a song we are going to pray shortly whatever you ask of me whatever you ask of me I surrender, I surrender. whatever you ask of me whatever you ask of me I surrender one more time. Whatever you ask of me, Lord. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Hmm. Whatever you ask of me, I'm yours. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Lord, it's yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Hallelujah. Before you start claiming right. Tonight is a night of thorough brokenness before God. I'm going to give you the next five to ten minutes alone before we start praying corporately. Whether it's on your chair, just I'm going to leave you alone with God. Everybody, find a way alone with God. Break your pride, whether you are inside or outside. This is 
you are alone with God and say Lord mercy 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 for my family mercy for my finances for my spiritual life Lord do not judge my family according to their iniquities for they are many Lord do not judge my sisters according to their wrongs do not judge my brothers Lord if you do not show my mother mercy there is no salvation if you do not show my father mercy Lord save my territory they are an idol worshipping territory they still worship idols have mercy I come to you with a broken heart Lord there are charms in my house right now I come to you with a broken heart pray pray Forever, I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. Lord, I'm yours. I'm yours. Then I'm yours. Then I'm yours. Forever, I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. Lord, if you depend on my attitude, I will never get married. Lord, if you depend on my prayer life then I will never see your hand Lord if you depend on my faith level I will never break through in the spirit but tonight I cry I come to you with genuine brokenness forever 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 Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Lord, if you leave me to my results, I will never graduate. Lord, if you leave me to my jam score, I may never get admission. Where is the helper of my destiny? Arise for me. I cry before you. Oh God of Jeshurun. Arise and take away the shame of my family. There are times in this kingdom I admit to you where it is not the quality of your keeping the mysteries of the kingdom but your ability to invoke the help of God through brokenness. There are businesses that the people don't know anything about finance. They cried before God and God arose and said I choose to wipe your tears. There are families who based on the way they train their children all the children should be arm robbers and prostitutes but not one of them is a spoiled child because somewhere along the line the parents had to hold their hands together and say lord help us help us this cry can give you a job i tell you this cry can give you a husband based on the way you are no good man should come to you it's not a lie but the mercy the mercy of God 
Just a few more minutes of genuine brokenness. Whatever you ask me, say, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. If you are not seriously praying, you are a non believer. If you are not praying in this atmosphere genuinely, then I'm telling you something is wrong with your passion for God. Lord, let the desires of my enemies not come upon me. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. There are many who lie in wait, waiting for your family to fail, to prove, but that God by his mercy can fit you and help you. I surrender. for his help oh, oh, oh God as we call on your name oh, oh God as we pour out your mercy Lord as we for you. says his mercies are new every morning just one more minute and we'll pray corporately and we're done
the Lord held the hands of Cyrus an unbeliever and prospered him because of the pride of God's own people he gave them over to their enemies it is not the witchcraft in your family that is killing you it is the lack of brokenness that is authorizing the spells to keep working there is a way your repentance can be so genuine the Lord will arise for you by his mercy my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by ah. your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by hey. your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by prophesy to yourself two more times my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by one more time sing my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by now in the next 10 minutes i want you to arise like one who has touched the heart of god we are going to engage in some 15 minutes of intense warfare we are going to pound the gates of hell with faith. We are going to pray and say that accuser of my family. I have, bro I have been broken before God on behalf of my family. He will not lift a railing accusation against my father, against my mother. I come with the spirit of faith. Lift your voice and begin to blast in tongues. The Bible says, even the lawful captive, even the lawful captive, shekatabakata. Impalabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatabatab
Hallelujah. Pair yourselves into two. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare that everything associated with my lineage, my family line that the devil is using against me by the blood, I silence you. Hold the hands of your neighbor and pray. pray. I silence you. I silence you. Ordinances. Handwriting. Ordinances. Handwriting. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. Oh God, you are my helper. Say it again. Oh God, you are my helper. I have no other. I call unto you. Show up in my life. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Show up. Show up, oh God. By your mercy. Show up for me. Show up for me. Show up for my finances. Show up for my spiritual life. You are my helper. You are my helper. You are my helper. Me punto potupa, ila patopa, arito patene, ila tab. Yeah. Ito poto pete, reke teko soto pata. Me punto potupa, ila soso siakata. Reke teke teke te, reke te poto pete teke te. Show up for me. Show up for me. Prete, prete, proto, wapatu kapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One or two last prayer points. And we finish. The Lord has declared that it's a year of signs and wonders. I told you a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it. You are going to say, Lord, turn me. Pray. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, I offer my life. Turn it into a sign and a wonder lift your voice and pray turn my life turn my life into a miracle with a message on it turn it into a miracle with a message on it turn it into a miracle with a message on it Turn my life to a fearful sign of wonder. Turn my life to a sign of wonder. go pata, pati go poto, empre te peke, poto poro tush, peru sabane, paru sabane, agaru pata, empre te kene, enu sarato, agapute, prato po, karata, ilatea. Hallelujah. The last prayer, and then we'll share the grace. Hallelujah. You notice we didn't take testimonies today, we'll do it tomorrow. So when you come, I expect lots of testimonies will do it tomorrow but we are just starting today we'll just take this prayer point and then we are done tomorrow we can welcome new people and all of that hallelujah say in the name of Jesus everything I have lost in the years past I decree and declare by the power of brokenness return back to my life Open your mouth and pray. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Pate 
Ete pato para Abite rusha wakete Empe petete Poto frete pata Opo topo Empe pe pata Parataba Ile shaba I call back friends. I call back opportunities. I call back graces. I call back mantle. I call back My faith insists that I will not go back the same way I came. Lift your voice and pray. I place a demand, O oh God. I place a demand, O oh God. I place a demand. I'm not in doubt that you are able. For you are God alone From before time began You are on your cross You are God alone You are God alone, are God alone. From before time began You are on your cross One more time until you are God in your spirit. Alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. From before time began. You are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. Fill me up. Hey. Till I overflow. I want to run. I want to run. I want to run over. Fill me up. Hey. Till I overflow. I want to run. Sing with your faith in your heart. I want to run over. Fill me up. Till I overflow. Till I I And lift our hands 
Forever we will hail Yahweh. We will hail Yahweh. Here we stand and lift our voices. Oh Lord, forever we hail Yahweh. Forever we hail Yahweh. Help me sing. Here we stand uh, and lift our hands. Tonight we hail Yahweh. Forever we hail Yahweh. Lord, here I stand and we lift our voices. Forever we hail Yahweh. Forever we And we will hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, hail Yahweh, we hail Yahweh, 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 Jesus, it is unto you that we are gathered tonight. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Lord, there are people here tonight trusting you for all kinds of things. I pray, oh God, that you would rend the heavens in your power. Visit us in a very dramatic way. Change lives. Deliver the oppressed. Lord, let it be a time worth spent in your presence. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that tonight you will be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, demonstrate your power, your sovereignty, your love, and your kindness in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Prophesy to someone, tell him your life is about to change. Say it like you believe it. Your life is about to change. God bless you. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm happy seeing everyone. Um, we have a lot to do tonight. Thank you, Jesus. And so we're going to trust God for speed. Hallelujah. Those outside, uh, overflow one, two, three. Can you shout hallelujah? Praise the Lord. I'll teach for a few minutes and then we will pray. Hallelujah. I want to share with us something tonight that I believe is very powerful. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter 15. I welcome everyone. This is our miracle service for the month of April. And the Lord will do us good. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. I want to share a powerful principle. Seems to be a bit windy outside. We apologize for those outside. Romans 15 and verse 4. Are we there? It says, For whatsoever things were written aforetime 
it says were written for our learning that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture we might have hope whatever no just 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 verse four whatever has been written in other words every time you read the bible every story every epistle every letter in it is a revelation that is applicable the bible says that they are written for our learning meaning we can derive keys from these principles and we can trust god that by the application of the same we will experience triumph and tonight we are going to explore one of them in the name of jesus christ I prayed with all my heart for this meeting and I trusted the Lord and I still do that he truly will visit us. I think the worship team captured it in a most profound way. All the issues that we may need the hand of God to come upon, healing, deliverance, etc. Let's look at Joshua chapter 6. The book of Joshua chapter 6. There are a few lessons we can learn. The Bible already records that everything that is written in the Bible is for our learning. That through the comfort of scripture, we might find hope. Joshua chapter 6. It's a very interesting story. Um, the Lord opened my eyes to a very deep mystery here. And I want to share part of it with us verse 1 okay it's projected now jericho was straightly shut up why because the children because of the children of israel and it says none went out and none came in imagine ladies and gentlemen a situation where a city is shut nothing is allowed to go out through it nothing is allowed to come out it's a description of the lives of many people the Bible says this city is shut in a way that nothing can go out. And it means it cannot receive anything. It cannot give and it cannot receive. Are we together now? And then the Bible says, verse 2, And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho and its king and the mighty men of Velum. This is God speaking. Verse 3, and ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shall thou do six days. Verse 4. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow the trumpets. Verse 6, and Joshua the son of Nun called the priests, notice now, and he said unto them, take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. Now look up, we're going to continue. But the Bible is describing something very interesting here. Do you know that the surprising thing about this scripture is that the purpose for fighting that land was not to occupy Jericho. The Bible never said they fought and they said, let's enter. So what was it about Jericho that they needed to destroy it to continue their journey? I thought that they would fight. God said, I've given you the land. How can you wait seven days, fight, defeat a city and then keep moving? That meant Jericho was not just a city. Jericho represented something that was a deep mystery. The Bible says nothing could go into it and nothing could come out. Meaning, if you found yourself in that city, there was no possibility of connection with any environment outside. Nothing could go out. Nothing could come in. Are we together? A city so fortified, the Bible says five chariots could hang on the fence of that city. And then, Joshua, the son of Nun, notice the strategy. In order to defeat this city, he said, I know you have men of war. But now I need the priests, not men of war. Gather the priests and then introduce the Ark of the Covenant. 
and then surround keep going around that challenge with the ark notice this don't talk don't do anything just carry the ark and keep surrounding that city that is so fortified there is no human way of crumbling that city but he introduced the ark listen carefully and he said to carry that ark and for six days all i want you to do is to gather the priests the ones who mediate between god and man carry the ark a symbol of the strength and the presence of god because he was trying to show joshua that what you see is not all there is if you fight physically there is a force that makes jericho jericho and that even if you pass jericho in peace jericho will not leave you in peace are you getting what i'm saying now it was not the issue of occupying is that something needed to be broken in jericho for their journey to be successful a city you can't see the king you can't see the citizens but the city is fortified nothing can go out nothing can come in when the lord look let me tell you something about god the tools that he uses tells you what challenge he's fighting when he went to egypt he didn't say moses let me show you how to use the sphere and a gun and whatever he said no egypt is not just egypt because they have men of war there are spirits and so take this rod now he's telling he's telling joshua joshua this challenge you see don't mind the physical size of the challenge there are entities that are standing there to make sure that no form of breakthrough comes no deliverance comes a city that stands as an altar within a territory and he says gather the priests i thought you would confront the king he said leave the king alone carry my presence carry the ark start going around and compass that was the language just keep going around that city with my presence don't utter a word let my presence keep going around six days this is what you will do and the bible says that they continue that way verse 11 so the ark of the lord compassed the city going about it once and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp verse 15 and it came to pass on the seventh day listen carefully that he rose up early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven days only that on that day they compassed the city seven times and it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout notice from day one to day seven no one was allowed to talk the only thing that was speaking was the ark it was a communication of spirits first there will be a participation but the physical only comes on the seventh day you start dealing with things physical no 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 let the ark speak what you cannot speak when the victory has been established by the ark your shout only manifested what sort of war do you fight with ark not swords carry the ark go round that challenge go around jericho what kind of mason what kind of engineer would deconstruct the blocks they were not held by cement and mortar they were held by covenants and ordinances he said only the ark can deal with this listen let me tell you this jericho is a representation of the kinds of situations of many people the the fortification is such that your shouting and trying to do all you know to do may not provide that solution are we together but the system here the first thing is look for the priest if you cannot find a priest then there cannot be victory you can find men of war but this one requires priesthood it is only priesthood that has the capacity to nullify the mystery that built jericho are we together the bible says here we have been made unto our god kings and priests 
there is an office of the priesthood of a believer and only that office is able to address certain intricate fortifications of darkness they would have shouted they would have tried fighting and they would have died i believe if they tried to fight jericho the men of jericho would not use swords the mystery that built jericho will fight them and yet on this occasion the lord tells joshua your sword is useful but now not for now your voice is useful but not for now go around jericho those walls you see were not just physical walls those walls the physical walls you see were a representation of something he said go around it tonight the lord has brought his presence and let me tell you what has been happening in this service is like taking the presence of god and going around situations you may not understand you were not designed to understand what the act speaks is a spirit communication there is a place where you shout with your intelligence but this warfare leave it for the ark and the covenant are we together there are languages over our lives and puzzles and mysteries that only the presence of god has a solution over the bible says so the people shouted verse 20 when the priests blew the trumpet and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet the bible says the people shouted with a great shout and the wall fell down flat meaning it was built in a way and manner that it was not just by hands alone the walls that five chariots could stay sank something about the going around with the ark was doing something to the controlling powers that held that situation in other words the building was never the issue you will be deceived to think because the building is large it is a function of the engineering and here god is revealing and said joshua don't waste your time just like a situation that has been for 15 years 30 years and you may think because it has stayed so long it's just that those who have been fighting it have been fighting it physically let me tell you when the act goes round, it doesn't take long you will see a situation that you thought was so long crumble you will see joblessness all of a sudden crumble the assignment tonight is to find a priest take the ark blow the trumpet and let there be a shout and you will watch jericho notice the bible says when jericho fell down flat the bible says the people entered and killed everything inside and they carried the treasures so that city was fortified and god challenged them to destroy that but the city was holding a treasure that was needed for the next level of their lives there was wealth and blessing and the city would not allow anybody enter in or go out are you hearing what i'm saying and god said don't act like you would not need what is in jericho stay and destroy pay the price crumble the city pack the treasures and you will need it on your journey couldn't they have followed another route and passed the people since the people did not want to open and close it's a sign of peace I can just leave them but you leave them you will need the treasure that is in jericho because you see satan never has anything that is own is his own everything he has he stole it are we together carry the ark it was a powerful revelation and i began to think about how many people try to fight battles physically how many people waste their time to try to manage things no the key is to tap into the mystery of priesthood a system that can talk to spirits a system that can challenge controlling powers the bible says for the weapons it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against the annoying neighbor we wrestle not against the landlord 
we wrestle not against the joblessness situation in Nigeria that every Jericho has a force behind it you fight Jericho physically you waste your time when you allow the ark fight before you come there the city has given you way you never enter a city until the ark defeats the city when you enter a city and try to fight the city will tear you into pieces because every city has gates spiritual fortifications there is the jericho of wealth and prosperity nothing comes in nothing goes out yet your treasure is there your life remains at a standstill because a fortification has been built so you don't challenge it spiritually so you go and start a business physical nothing works you leave the business and get a job physical nothing works after that you go and meet your uncle physical nothing works will you allow the ark to talk to the controlling powers are you getting what i'm saying now you want a job you carry your certificate and tell an uncle somewhere uncle sir i i want you to give me a job and he says bring your cv and you keep rejoicing for years that your cv is with someone and you keep it because until spirits are confronted there is no breakthrough believe what i tell you those who understand this keep triumphing cheaply by invoking the mystery of priesthood now the symbol of defeat for any people is the absence of a priesthood and the absence of an ark even if you have a sword if there is no priesthood and there is no ark there is no victory listen carefully the most important components to win the warfare of life is not the swords it's not the spheres it's not the business ideas it is the presence of a living priesthood and the presence of an ark hmm. not everybody can carry the ark everybody can benefit from the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark this is a mystery everybody is allowed to partake of the implications of the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark if there is no priesthood then there is no ark then there is no victory even though there is an army even though there is a sword please hear me carefully some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in certificates some may trust in human connections some may trust in business acumen some may trust in all kinds of things but i show you how we win in life it is the token of the priesthood the ark the trumpet it is not just physical things when the gates and the doors are fallen then your sword becomes useful are you seeing that you only submit the cv when the controlling power that stands from your village and has vowed that nobody who is through this bloodline will excel is a waste of time it is vain to wake up in the morning listen carefully and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrows those you see triumphing in life are men and women who have understood the mystery of the priesthood they always allow the priesthood and the ark to precede them they will fight but they know when to fight look at me i came tonight to deliver us from a life of hustling a life of doing physical things you would think i don't know what i'm saying many people will not listen you will get up please help those on that you will get up carry certificates around life is spiritual there is no jericho that does not have spirit until the ark goes before you and until the priest carries the ark there is no possibility of victory treasures in jericho but the door is closed your treasure you can't go in you can't come out are we together do you know there was a woman there who should be saved i'm not sure rahab you can see that Rahab was part of God, the army of God. But listen, the Bible says that she was stuck there. 
her too could not go out and come in for as long as she was in there she was called rahab the prostitute until she came out of that dungeon did she become one of the 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 genealogy the lineage of jesus for as long as some of our family members and there are situations that are left it's not only treasures that were carried there some persons were also rescued everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored listen let me tell you this the more i understand the systems of the kingdom the more i see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries those who win in life are not the smartest those who win in life are not the most educated some of them by mercy they stumbled into these mysteries and you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be jericho 45 nobody entered from your village your father tried fighting physically they destroyed him your mother tried doing business they destroyed her your siblings went to school got masters got phd the door said i don't open i don't receive and i don't give the lord said joshua stop wasting your time it's not about nigeria it's not about recession find a priest quickly find a priest one who is an act bearer don't just try to do it on your own i know you can fight but this is priesthood listen carefully it is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation the bible says by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's not human worship it is the mystery of priesthood the priest the ark the trumpet equal to the falling of jericho when jericho falls you can fight with whatever you have when jericho falls your pure water can make you a millionaire because jericho has fallen when jericho falls one destiny helper is enough you don't need party when jericho falls one job can bless you but until jericho falls anything done outside it is a waste of time i never fight physically physical battles are the last it is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically look at jesus on his way to the cross he spent time in gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails it was about spirits satan came to him in matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 4 satan left him came back to him in peter he defeated him came back in judas he left him something was playing out and jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things when he went to that cross satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed 
when Jericho fell. The people, the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless. Even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody. It was never about the sword. It was about victory. When the ark wins, you win. The only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there. Show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances. Our forefathers, as uneducated as they were, they understood the mystery of priesthood. Till today, many of them, we laugh at them, yet they keep getting results. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. The Bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning. That story was not just written there. God intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords. Swords only help you possess your possession. Swords only help you manifest victory. They don't create victory. What creates victory, brothers and sisters, is the priesthood and the ark. What manifests victory is your sword. It is true that the horse is prepared for battle, but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes. The nation of Israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet. Look how silly it is to be going to fight. They can wipe a whole nation, yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind they are in front the priesthood they are afraid but they know what they carry they depend on the ark left for me you will kill me and the enemies are laughing and say you have come to fight us like this priesthood our generation is a very arrogant generation that's why we may never get results many young people just i'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism we have so we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood do you know do you know why Saul lost his throne are we Bible students do you know why Saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne Saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended God Saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern an order of operation he waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is he not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne. David tried to do his best to still respect him. 
he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones i've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look i want to talk to you about he helps you and say jesus i've been waiting because jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true listen when you hear people testifying ah uh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not net that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and Jesus said, cast your net. The net will be casted, but not before he speaks. It is after he speaks. The CV will be submitted, but not before the priesthood. It is after. Are we together? You will try to have the child. But when you continue the way you are doing, you will keep miscarrying forever. It's not an insult. Let me tell you this. Without the presence of God, there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us it's not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life 
just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is Paul teaching the church in Ephesus he says alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that God lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say Jesus died it's not enough to say I'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were I watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and I watch the folly of men how we do our best I was once like that but no more I'm born again I've repented I've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters I'm going to give you a job and you find out that Satan does not need to fight you he already fought you with the presence of Jericho and God said guys the goal is not to stay in Jericho but you can't let Jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters Jericho sank flat the Bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why I, I told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we're men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused Jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of Jericho Jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what I'm saying but everyone who must pass remember Israel is God's own people what is the business between Israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of Jericho when you read your Bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation 
I fight, I defeat Jericho, and I continue my journey. But I carry Rahab. I carry treasures. There is Rahab there. Without Rahab, there is no Jesus. Without Rahab, the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry Rahab. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh. To Yahweh, to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh. We're soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014, no priest. 2015, no priest. That your dreams show you Eden. Your life shows you Adulam. There's a system of translation. Are we together? Now all of a sudden, the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained here i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say, Oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, The day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence... If that act will not go before us, I'm not going, no. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Rest is a gift. My presence will go with you. And I, through my presence, will give you rest. My presence will clear up the spirits. And whatever you do. When you read 2 Chronicles 20, the same thing happened. Three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front. And they began to sing. You are good and your mercies endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? 
and the bible says all of a sudden they turn can you imagine allies together when the ark starts fighting for you is fearful are we together fearful you are standing close to danger it never touches you before it touches you something touches it the priesthood the people started killing themselves and the bible says everyone helped to kill another that's not a man fighting that's the ark fighting and all of a sudden when the last two were left he killed one and the ark said what are you waiting for and he carried the knife killed himself and when the people came they found gold they found treasures when the ark fights it fights thoroughly when you fight if your hand paints you like moses and start going down you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same jericho that causes barrenness it is still jericho the bible didn't say jericho do you know look at the interesting thing jericho fell flat but the woman who stayed in the fence how god delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand but the bible tells us everything fell down flat to break every chain 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 break every It's to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen, brothers and sisters, we're about to pray, but I plead with you in the name of the Lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks, and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain break every chain listen the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen, I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically. 
they do everything and sometimes you wonder and say ah, look how great this brother is look how great this sister is is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it hallelujah listen people make all kinds of gifts for me as you can imagine people make all kinds of gifts and sometimes i see what people do and i'm shocked I say life is so unfair how can this brother this sister be this gifted and yet be begging and you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him and in one week his life has changed they can even be sarcastic priesthood will make them take life for granted there is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life please hear me there are families here listening you have done all you know why don't you allow god allow the ark come into your home tonight and let it go around jericho allow the ark come into your life tonight let it go around jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself hallelujah I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together i got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening i usually don't call people back but i was touched i called him i said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works i said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job I thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say i will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin to 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Self time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man the man jesus he qualifies to be a priest not the spirit jesus the man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the ironic priesthood the bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of melchizedek a priesthood with no beginning a priesthood with no end that there is that eternal priesthood of jesus listen carefully we're talking about very deep foundational issues here jesus the man the priest that took his blood the bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all once and for all the advocacy of that priesthood is superior listen every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light Are we together? I want you to be tired 
of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown off the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministry lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asks can receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the cycle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho 
covered by the fence of Jericho. Everywhere, inside, outside. I'm praying now. Please just be sensitive. Let's let's do what God is directing us to do. Tonight there must be total victory. Total victory. Now I'm praying for families. The anointing of God will come on individuals, but it is for families. It will come on you. Once that anointing comes on you now, know that God is visiting your family. Lord, I pray now. I release the sword, the sword of the Lord, in the name of Jesus to every family. If there is a family here whose glory has been buried, nobody rises. Where are they? I decree and declare now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shakata Parakata. I don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here, but in the name of Jesus. The son of the living God, Matas Katabarata Siadabata, in the name of Jesus, I command now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be emancipation. Emancipation for every family. Hidden glory. Hidden glory. The Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and then we beheld his glory. The Lord is still touching people. The Lord is still touching people. That's why you came. You have done the listening. Let me pray now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Something serious is going to happen here now. Now, I want to pray a very serious prayer. The Lord is leading me to pray this prayer. I just had in my spirit altars of poverty. Hold on. Just keep your hands lifted. Father, I'm praying. You spoke to my ears. Altars of poverty. If there is any family here in an ordinance, under that cause, nothing works. There is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let there be deliverance now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Altars of poverty. Everywhere overflow one, overflow two, overflow three online. If there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos Kabariata. i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it 
but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus play now lift your hands i declare the spirit that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the holy ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated i command now at the count of three be set free one two three be free now be free now be free now everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me hallelujah oh sephia 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 like sephia i'm hearing a name sephia who is that please let's let's hurry up there is a lot to do i want us to settle down really pray for the sick sephia who is that her eyes her eyes hey, her eyes your name is sephia how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes I'll pray for all of you but in the name of Jesus Christ I deliver this lady now this lady on red I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost by the anointing of the Holy Spirit be set free right now Sophia the Lord bring liberty liberty now I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing of the Holy Ghost bad luck bad luck I take it out of your life the spirit of I'm seeing a lot of bad luck I take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is Ola? i'm hearing a name Ola. Ola. i don't know if that's the full name but there's Ola. o-l-a there's someone with that name Ola. please don't come out if it's not your name who is this huh your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Rejoice. Breakthrough has come to your family. This lady. I'm, I'm Kai. Look at the evil and the witchcraft I see over this lady's family. All these people are, please help me find out. Why are they here? All of them, their names are Ola. Interesting. Come. That lady with cap. Come. Your salvation has come. Come. This lady with, lift your hands. Over now. 
over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would deal with physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared first to first and tell me it shall never will be well with you no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes, yes. it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are, are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her i prophesy to someone here jacques koto parakatia anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of hades christ has triumphed over you oh death take away your sting take away your sting hallelujah there are a number of you here i presume you are all Allah, including this gentleman on wheelchair that's your son that's your brother what happened to him what happened to him accident since when 2015 and he paralyzed you you can't move now oh dear we're going to pray for the sick but i want to pray for Ola now just just stand bring for me the person i'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now aside from this lady there is there is an anointing coming on one of you let me speak to that one person right now i'm seeing a closed door this is someone's destiny it looks like i'm holding the air but i'm seeing that i'm holding a padlock in the spirit whose destiny is that among these people standing open 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 now i command that destiny open open now open now open now open now in the name of jesus hallelujah you came alone hold on hold on hold on don't worry i'll pray for the sick sir if i'm if i don't talk are you alas sir no don't don't come out until i ask you this is witchcraft you would have died since last year june yes sir it's god that kept you i will pray for you i've seen your case already if i don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you yes all my body this is what i'm saying i'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you come my dear this lady i'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now in the name of jesus i command the power of the holy ghost upon your life i command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of jesus christ for all of you standing here my my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do i'm a printer sir you are what printer, printer. nothing is working in your life i need to pray for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I break this embargo I see upon your hand in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ this row I'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what I'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands Kabaroko to sobaria talikata Jakaske barika to siyanapata let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ all right mama I know that it's not time to pray but I want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone I, I did my fault in, and my heart has been here so one of my say, son friend brought me here when you are talking everything you say is just about as if you are where, where did you come together. from I come from uh, Samaru from okay. Samaru um, Basawa no problem mama yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've thank seen thank you Jesus thank you Lord. say after me say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the suffering the suffering the sorrow the sorrow in my life, in my life must end must end say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I will eat I will eat the fruit of my labor the fruit of my labor father by her confession Amen. let her be free now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that captivity is over I pray for all of you now in the name of Jesus my dear don't be embarrassed eh be careful with men come I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life don't be embarrassed eh? you are here we love you we don't condemn people but be careful in the name of Jesus I set you free the deception and the wickedness of evil doers I pray for you now every captivity in our last family whether male or female as I stretch my hands over you I command that it leaves you now it leaves your family now I say it again it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus for the last time now an anointing will come on you it leaves you now it leaves your family now in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you please go back to your seat go back to your seat go back to your seat hallelujah now lift your hands everybody gentlemen when it's time to pray for the sick we'll pray for you huh? just be patient please help him so that he doesn't strain himself all of you lift your hands one scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now why are you here my dear you are with him oh is your daddy what okay since then there is something that's been working on his body like you had an accident leg. yes sir okay and what happened and since then something has been working on his body on his stomach like snake at times the thing will are you seeing what i'm saying so it was never about accident you see accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord would destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse to 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee thou sentest forth thy wrath which consumed them as stubble and with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together the flood stood up right as an heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea to 11 the enemy said i will pursue i will overtake i will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water 
who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods, who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises, doing, not delivering, doing wonders. That's what you're about to see now. Lift your hands. He said, I will pursue, I will overtake my lust, my desire will fall upon the people of God. I want to pray. Listen, deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down. It's, it's, it's bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting, a separation. The Bible says the river separated teeth and hither. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer a shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of God's people as they shout this shout wherever they are I command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding I command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout Jesus at the count of three one two three In the name of Jesus, I command that fire to fall. Every power, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment. Go now, go now, go now. Every enchantment. Every enchantment, every enchantment, be free now. Hold on. Hallelujah. I usually don't do this until I'm directed. Hallelujah. I usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right. I just want to pass through. You don't have to touch me. Except it is not God that has called this meeting. If there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands I'm going to pass here right now. The anointing of the Spirit is going to begin to come upon you. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just, just allow me pass. Be careful, be careful. Father, in Jesus' name, let it be over now. There is fire now. That fire is moving all across now. In the name of Jesus, ordinances be broken now. I'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of Jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ be free now in the name of Jesus as I'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the Spirit of the Lord is telling me to stand here right now in Jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now 
from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it katakata be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands overflow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now i release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 shake up butter please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace
great grace, great grace, great grace. New season. Mama, look at me. It's over. Over forever. Over. 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 It's going to use you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. hallelujah praise the lord overflow one i want to minister to you now listen please i want you to believe everything i want to pray for you lift your hands all of you there are some of you here as i'm looking i'm just seeing chains i want to pray at the count of three i didn't come to waste your time right now that chain is going to leave people now anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a chain of darkness overflow one i declare at the count of three right now let that chain be broken one two three i command that chain be broken now help them please be broken now to the back shakasko pariata zato secretary akata be broken broken fire is coming i'm seeing fire moving across the crowd in the name of jesus christ i break every force every yoke of darkness hallelujah are you pregnant come i'm seeing an evil spirit let her go now in the name of jesus christ let her go by the anointing of the spirit i release the destiny of this baby you will not lose this baby in the name of jesus christ help her this lady lady praying in tongues in the name of jesus christ the grace for dreams and visions the lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now i'm going to walk across this crowd please i just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over 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 shabas kata jeketes kalabra katoziatakata over now in the name of jesus over by the anointing of the holy ghost it is over please believe as i'm passing you don't don't worry the anointing of god will locate you over now in the name of jesus christ let it be over now now over your life let it be over i'm seeing fire moving here like this who is that fire for in jesus name i stretch my hands let there be deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now mama be free now in the name of jesus christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Parakato Sedekatoshia. Enter. Enter that level. That's what I hear in the spirit. Enter. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is? Is it victory or Victoria? I'm hearing a name like a victory or Victoria. Who is that? 
please very quickly want to pray for the sick now it's like you are wearing something like blue blue who is that person what's your name madam yes sir this is your first time here no sir you've been coming madam look at me god is going to change your story completely. amen i don't know you but yes. the lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough amen amen hold my hands look at me there is bad luck on your life my dear good things come but they never stay and the lord is saying to take it away right now be free in the name of jesus i take away that spirit from your life i set you free to move forward in the name of jesus in the name of jesus and we go in who is victoria again? all the victories of victoria be made free right now in jesus name can we go in from here Please, everyone open your mouth and begin to pray prophesy say in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth spiritually in the name of jesus christ it's a new level for me it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now i release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days lord lose their destinies i'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing let the destiny be open now open now in the name of jesus christ i'm standing here and i'm hearing i have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the spirit of god is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what god is speaking my mandate is upon your life you cannot fight it it's an ordinance decided from heaven my mandate is upon your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle pastor lawrence speed come where is where is your wife to be come come two of you I see a grace for speed lift your hands enter that dimension now i release that grace speed to your life the lord is taking away delay go and mark it you are entering a strange level i see you climbing a ladder and the lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me lord light me lord light me lord collect that child quickly from kenny Collect that child. Speed. That grace. Collect that child. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing that grace. A new dimension of speed. Coming upon your life. A new level of speed. Coming upon your life. A new level of speed. Hallelujah. Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil. And I'm seeing dollars, a bottle of oil and dollars. These two dimensions, the spirit and supernatural resources, that grace, the Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle, a bottle of oil, 
a bottle of oil the lord is giving you a voice not only in the area of finances but a strange demonstration of the spirit please be patient we are going to pray for the sick but tonight i i perceive god is doing something strange young man come come you and this guy two of you come stand step into a new dimension new dimension in the name of jesus you will never be the same this guy just lift your hands where you are come enter a new level in the spirit i release that grace now upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now it's happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ this usher lady come in the name of jesus christ you will begin to see things before they happen that's what the lord is saying i should tell you god is putting something in your eyes you will see things you will see things before they happen in the name of jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady in welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here
I'm seeing a flag being raised up. And the Lord is saying it's a new season. I'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit. The Lord is announcing you. I'm declaring, let that anointing come upon you. A new season. Let that flag be raised. In the name of Jesus, let that flag be raised. You will never, never be down. Let that flag be raised. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick. Let's just flow. God, you know, sometimes this is, this lady, you, come. Yes. Say for my shame. Say it for my shame. I receive double. The Lord is taking me to a new level and I receive it. I lay my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus, the grace for a new level is released upon you right now. I command it so. I declare it so. In Jesus name I pray. This gentleman, you, come. Confusion ends now in your life. I lay my hands upon you. I command confusion to end right now from your life. In the name of Jesus. Confusion ends now over your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Confusion ends over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing... I will, I will prophesy generally but I'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but I'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is, this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify I don't care whether the resources are there or not I stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for God's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already Please, quickly. You're sick in your body. Come quickly. Stand. If the people cannot move, just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't... Um... Are we together? Now, we're going to pray. It will be very fast because our time is gone. We want to finish on time. The devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall 
And it looked as if it was over You made a way Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the corporate anointing, we pray. These people have come expecting to be healed, expecting to be touched. I pray that your anointing will visit them right now. In the name of Jesus, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three. Let there be a release of the corporate grace. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we're free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And what's wrong with you, my dear? Huh? Fracture. Where? How long? Where is the leg? It can't move. And your hand. Don't worry, it's okay. And your legs. Lord Jesus, please Walk help this lady. Miracle, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Walk my miracle here I release today. that anointing upon you right Walk now. My miracle, I correct your Jesus. body now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. If they are still praying for you outside, just, just continue. Please, if your request is yet to come here, you can quickly wave it, wave it, and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. By faith, believing that God will visit you. Don't, don't stretch your hands out of unbelief. If there are requests here to come, please let them come here quickly. Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Endakato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subriash. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato barakato barikate kate. Shalekate prandakata barakatosh. Eketo kaparukata bariataba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this be the last time they will write this. In the name of Jesus, let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shada bragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegate legata kato prandegate presha de bele de bosh. Hallelujah. 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 Please respond with a resounding amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny father as I step upon this let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho yeah. hallelujah listen you're going to shout Jesus we're going to shout Jesus seven times are we together as a prophetic act over this i'm going to guide you and you will shout it for every one shout let it represent one day going around jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act i know god i stand leading your people as we shout that name the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now i will call the number and you shout jesus are you ready number one number two Try 
crumbling every mountain number three Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Jesus. Number five. Jesus. Number six. Jesus. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. Jesus. I decree and declare unto you, prepare for strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of Jesus Christ I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah I release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah I decree and declare that every garment he saw Joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed I anoint you go and succeed. I anoint you go and succeed. I anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door that has refused to open, your parents tried it, refused to open. The Bible says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by God to rise up and come to your aid I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them I provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of Jesus I direct their eyes to you I say it again whoever has what it takes to help you I direct their hearts to you Amen. 
the same mystery that bound Jonathan and David, I declare, wherever your helper is, let it be as it were for Jonathan and David. In the name of Jesus Christ. All those in ministry here, I prophesy to you, a strange unction upon the work on your hands, step into a new direction. Step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you May that same mercy speak for you. May that same mercy speak for you. Hallelujah. There are people here, you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry. It's not like you don't love God, but revelations, they don't come as they used to come again. Sometimes you open your Bible, you cannot even read. To pray, you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message There are some of us, the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down. In the name of Jesus, tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life. Let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life. Every wrong friend in your life, whether you want them to go or not, in the name of Jesus, for the sake of God's hand upon your life, I separate you with them forever. This night, I separate you with them forever. Time wasters, destiny wasters. I cause a separation between you and them forever. We're rounding up. Some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness. Spiritual laziness, mental laziness, physical laziness. The Bible says a lazy hand, a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life, by the grace of God, I release you to a new order of favor. A new order of favor. A new order of favor. Favor is not when you have money. Favor is when men arise by God to meet your needs. If you have money and men don't come to your life, you are not favored. You are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God, but I release my faith with you. And I declare that by miracle service May, you will only return rejoicing over that issue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here trusting God for a good job, not just a job that you look like a slave, a job with honor. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension
everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the bible says where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you it says i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations i decree and declare may your gates be continually open now i want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us i want to pray that somebody will give you money listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some carnal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ The anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of Jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of jesus christ dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye